In this episode, I plan to show you how you successfully hunt for a Christmas tree. Step 1. Footwear. Often the most overlooked accessory when hunting for a Christmas tree. Let's get started. Find something that is comfortable. No, not that comfortable. Better. Boots. Much better. Step 2. Weather. Even the most experienced hunter can be caught off guard by a sudden snowstorm or a wind gust. So, be sure to check a reliable source. Not this one, as you can see the batteries are dead, so we'll just have to wing it. Step 3. Apparel. This is the only wool that I own. I, and I should have suspenders, but I don't have those. I do have jeans. It's the closest to a lumberjack I can come. Step 4. Sustenance, or food. I suggest eating something like pizza. It incorporates every single food group. And also, eat it fast. That way your body has time to break down the sugars and turn it into energy, which you're going to need for later. Step 5. Facial hair. Often looked over by many, and I'm sorry that this is the best I can do under short notice. In fact, this is about the best I can do anyway. But dang, I look good, don't I? Step 6. Weapons. The most widely accepted weapon in the lumberjack arsenal is a chainsaw. If you'd like something a little bit more traditional, maybe an axe is your liking. Make sure it is sharp. Sharp enough to split a hair. A torch is a tree's worst nightmare. Be careful because things can get out of hand real quick. The Swiss Army Knife, often overlooked but very handy. Make sure you have one in your pocket. Step 7. Assemble a crew. Step 8. Roll out. Step 9. Enjoy the scenery. Step 10. Scout the area. Look around. Find the groupings of trees. Find the one that best suits your liking. This may require you to get into high areas where you can see over the tops of those trees. Step 11. Locating the tree. Once you've found a tree that you believe will fit in your home with very little modification, you need to confirm that it isn't too ripe. In order to determine this, you must taste it. You must take a piece of the tree and put it in your mouth and chew it. You will notice that it has a very pitchy pine solly. That, that was disgusting. Don't do that. Step 12. Harvesting the tree. Step 13. This is the part where you wish that your weather station worked and you realize that this could be bad. That this could turn out like the Donner Party. Step 14. Pack it out. Step 15, trophy photo. Step 
16. Display proudly.